what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? I'll give it in. Somebody's good for you. <laughs> what's going to be for you? <laughs> what's going to be for you today? Of another day. Of another day. We call Tuesday. Anyway, Vincent, what's going to be for you? Hopefully I'm right. It's a Tuesday. Oh, it's so sad because... I have so much going on in my mind, and you know, my mind is all over the place, and it's Tuesday. Um, <laughs> if it's not, it is what it is. Anyway, um, what's going to people? Forgive me for my open eye. Um, got it this morning. I said I was going to go um, do that gray hair. Not there yet. Um, still getting there. Oh, but it's something I wanted to talk to you about, but it's a little bit away. Okay, let me just get over here real quick. Okay, um, this is what I want to talk to you about. I don't know if you talk about this, but remember I was talking about this hair because this hair, you know, this is not for me. This is like, this hair cost me a dollar, I'm sorry, this hair cost me $11.99. And I remember I had told you that I had a pitch. this is how it was <laughs> like this. What's good, people? <laughs> now, you see, I took it and I um, pressed it and stuff like that, you know, flat iron or press, iron, flat iron, whatever, just to make it straight and stuff like that. Anyway, the band said, and um, I had bought this, and this was like pumping up this pump it up is from um I got it from a dollar store but it was like four dollars and you know it smells really well and stuff like that but if you if you buy this type of hair and of course it's not human it's like a synthetic blend but we know it's just nothing but synthetic but listen if it, if it cuts if it cuts the um if it cuts the cheese honey we're all going to eat so my thing is this one right here I had to learn something which I didn't know um this is called pump it up Pump it up does not make the hair go straight the way I want it to, and it doesn't give that silky straightness that I would like. Like this one. This is the um, Mega Hold Spritz. Okay, this is the Mega Hold Spritz. Just my opinion. I don't, don't buy this one because, I mean, you could buy it, but just don't buy it for this type of hair. I guess it works better if it was just, you know, human hair and stuff like that. You know, I'm not knocking if that's what you love, then pump it up, then pump it up, but me, myself, you want to. Make your hair straight like this, and as you see, it's really straight, and you know, it moves around. Anyway, the band said, what's going people? I want to talk to you about the new studies that's been going on between five and ten years. They said men and trans men, of course, they're going to say men, but you know, men first and transgender women is going to be able to give birth to a baby. Did you say women's head again? Transgender women, we're going to take the men thing, push it out. Transgender women is going to be able to give birth to babies between 5 and 10 years. It's not that far off. All they need to do is have a uterus. Now, you know me. You know, I do a little digging and stuff like that. And I wanted to find out, you know, exactly, you know, what is it the proper procedure that you need to go through, you know, to get this, you know, you know, this, this uterus. Because the thing about it is that nobody's just going to be handing a uterus over these days. But anyway, that's that. So, it is, be, uh, it's a guess between 5 and 10 years that maybe sooner that Dr. Corinne Chung, Director of the Fertility Preservation Program at the University of South Carolina, excuse me, South California Hicks School of Medicine. Now, she said that, you know, what happens is that, you know how some women, okay, let me just read this. Today, today's medical advance let transgender women adjust their biochemistry to suppress male and introduce female hormones. You will have you will have breasts that can lactate and obtain surgically constructed vaginas that induce you know hormones. And the thing is that. This is what, uh, I, I got a little um, picture of something to kind of give you an idea of what they're going to do. You know, because they want to know if you get that sensation. You know, when a man is on top of you doing his business. And you want to know if you can feel that sensation of, you know, him feeling, you know, see if you have orgasm. So basically, here's a picture of what it's going to be like. Here it is. Okay, you see that? Now, basically, what they could do is they could take the head of the penis. This is what I'm saying in my mind. They take the penis and they slice it down the middle. Now, the nerve is between. Okay, let me skip. Okay. This is the head of the penis, and this is like. Okay, this is the head of the penis, and this is the back part. No, I better put this part. This is the back part with the balls. 
And, um, okay, now this is the head part that goes in. Now the head goes in like this. Now underneath the penis is right here. It's where all the sensation comes from. I don't know if you know that, but this is where all your sensation comes from within the penis. Now, of course, he's going in and out, in and out, but underneath here. So basically what they're going to do is take this slice and slice it up. And they're going to fold it to like a vagina like this. And they stick it <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh God, please. Um, they're gonna stay inside you between your legs. <laughs> Sorry. They're gonna stick it inside you. So this is when a man is on top of you, you know, doing his business. You could get some sensation, so you'd be like, Woo, woo. You just don't want him, you know, him just pushing it. Because, you know, a lot of times, let's face it, girls, a lot of men don't know what they're doing to get inside or just stick start, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, um, the uterus implant surgery um, is for women who's, um, you know, they've already been practicing some females and stuff like that because they, you know, there are a lot of women that are, they, of course, cannot have children and stuff like that. And basically what they did, they're going to do is try to, the same type of thing, procedure that they use as part of the uterus inside of a woman, they're going to try to put it inside of a man. Now, by a woman, always going to have the benefit of the doubt, of course, um, in, as, as far as producing a baby, because, you know, a male does not have the parts of, you know, well, guess what they said? They said they're going to reconstruct all of that as well, and they're going to put it all inside of a man, and they're going to, um, you know, give it a chance. And they said that it is possible that a transgender woman can get a full term to a baby. You know. <laughs> this is what it is. And, um, a Swedish team already inserted five successful transplants. And, um, the surgery, you know, they five transplants and they had one baby die, but um, four of them are still living. And the surgery is dangerous, and the patient has to take a lot of anti-rejection drugs throughout the pregnancy, which part may risk an infection. You know, um, you know, and that's it, you know, so I just want to put that out there, case you didn't know, trans women between 5 to 10 years are not far off from having their own baby themselves. Look at you girls, you about to be baby to a baby girl. Oh. Now, now you can honestly say you are now a fishy woman. You could listen. This is this is how. Now you know I'm a little jaded, so forgive me what I'm about to say, but it is what it is. So now you now you can let a man bust nuts all over inside you and stuff like. I hope he hit your A's and stuff like that. And you know, basically now you can have one. You know, you can have you know the birth of a baby and stuff like that. You know, and he's going to stick around. And then once the baby comes through, guess what? He leaves you. So now you get to raise the baby all by yourself. <laughs> While him talking about some give me DNA and stuff like that, and then after he found it that this is baby, he's gonna let you go out there and try to survive the best way you can. Not only you get one mouth to feed, guess what? You got two mouths to feed. And the simple fact of the matter is that now you're really gonna know what it's like to be a woman when you have to get out here and really struggle, honey. And you know you can't be jumping in out of cars, girls. You may have to get start get some stripper climb up on that stripper pole because the baby got to eat no matter what. Whether you eat or not, the baby has to eat. You know, I don't want to look at the dark side, but it is what it is. And you already know the girls of color. A lot of us have been brought up in families which are broken homes. While mama was trying to make the best way she can. While papa done split. He done made a whole new family, honey, and walked past you like, hey, like he don't even know you. Anyway, the man said, I'm not trying to throw no dirt, no dirt on it, but as the men that son came into our lives, we already, they already left, and we didn't even have a baby by. So I'm just saying, you know, but, but on the positive note, you girls can finally get babies to the world. <laughs> so good luck with that. Anyway, the man said, because you know, mm -mm, ain't nobody busting no nuts up inside of me, honey. Condoms forever. Maybe the next life, if I come back, well, I'm definitely going to come back, but the next life, you know, maybe if I'm born, you know, with the whole anatomy and some man ain't got to me and messed me all up mentally inside, you know, mother might have a mother may pump out of you. You know, unless I find that I got to raise one by myself and then, you know, then the bitch get a little angry, then I become the angry black bitch, which, you know, is not that far off from now. Woo! Ooh. Yes, and then some of y'all can get the whole opportunity to get the turkey baster, honey. You know, when you take the turkey baster and you stick it inside, you know, inside your coochie, and the next thing you know, you can tell us that you're <laughs> Anyway, the band said, I don't know how you feel about this. I want to know how you feel about the fact that now, you know, um, allegedly that transgender women, they said that the studies have shown that a lot of transgender women will be lined up, you know, to get birth and stuff like that. 
or would you be liable to give birth? Would you love to have kids with someone that you've been involved with? You know, um, if I wasn't knowledgeable of what I've been through, I probably would say yes, but with me, you already know my answer is no. I just don't want a man busting nuts up inside of me and giving me no disease. I just don't trust me. I'm not there yet. I'm not saying I will never get there, but I'm not there yet. But anyway, I want to know, would you let a man give you a baby? Do you want to have a baby? Have you ever thought about having children? You know, it is what it is. And I'd love to hear your feedback. And um, guys out there, if um, you ever could give a trans woman a baby, would you knock her up? <laughs> anyway, the man said, I want to say hello, my dogs. Yeah. I want to say hello, my kings. Mm -hmm. I want to say hello new people. Boom. I want to say hello old people. Bam. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I want you to do you. I want you to do the best way that you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them.